guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you and a huge welcome back to my regular subscribers as well. I haven't sat down and talked to the camera, like filmed a video in like over a month. I did attempt to do a live stream this morning, which was hilarious. Um, I managed to talk to a few of you guys for a wee while, but I had some technical difficulties. So don't worry, if you missed out on the live stream, I will be doing a lot more. But today I thought I'd do a video that I've been longing to do for quite some time. It's been a few weeks since I sort of had the idea to do this video and I just haven't had a chance to kind of fit it into my schedule. If you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that I have been an avid follower of the capture wardrobe trend for a year and I really got into the concept and I really loved it and embraced it and did some videos on here as well for you guys. And today, obviously by the title and why you clicked on it, I'm talking about why I'm actually moving on from the capsule wardrobe concept. Now, I just wanna make it really clear before we get into like details. Um, firstly, if you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, I will link a video here and in the description of one that I made like ages ago and it basically talks about capsule wardrobes, what they are. And it was like the first video I did on my channel about capsule wardrobes. So watch that if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. I do apologize if I get left on my teeth. And secondly, I just wanna say as well that I'm not in any way saying that the capsule wardrobe concept isn't a good concept. It's just that I've got a new concept that I think is better, or at least it's better for me and where I'm at in my life right now. I successfully did four capsules a summer. I started last summer, so summer, autumn, winter, and spring. My spending habits for clothing especially used to be like, not bad compared to some people's standards, but um, I did sort of buy clothes because they were like on sale and I think just, I think it was the way I did it. I didn't necessarily buy tons of clothes, but the way I would buy clothes wasn't very good and I just waste a lot of money on clothes that didn't really fit me properly or things, yeah, I just didn't have a very good relationship with um, shopping and with buying clothes for my wardrobe. And so I really wanted to change that. So that's why I looked into capsule wardrobes and it seemed like the be all end all answer for my wardrobe problems. And it certainly helped. Doing capsules for the last year has really helped me to like not shop in sales just because there's like a deal on um, and to be a lot more mindful in my purchases. So if anything, like I have to really credit the capsule wardrobe concept for helping to train my new way of thinking and looking at buying things. So my wardrobe now, I'm moving away from like traditional seasonal capsules into what I'd like to call more a fluid capsule. Um, or something that's like just a single capsule that has all your clothes for the year in one area. So I'm still kind of calling it a capsule because it's still quite a like smaller group of clothes compared to what most people have. Um, I think I counted I have about 50 items in my full capsule. I no longer store seasonal items away. So the reason I've done this, as some of you know, over the summer I read Marie Kondo's The Life Changing Magic of Tidying and she talks a lot about only filling your space with things that bring you joy and that you love. She really recommends only storing your clothes in one area, like don't put things away in storage because you'll never look at them and appreciate them um, and or you'll forget about them or it's just an easy way to hoard. So I am not allowed to put things into storage. Um, I literally have every item that I own in my drawers and hanging items in my little part of the wardrobe. So what I used to find with my capture wardrobes is it did help me a lot to never feel like I didn't have something to wear like I loved my outfit combinations my wardrobes were very like curated but I would also hold on to a lot of items that I actually maybe didn't love 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 um, or things that didn't fit me but because I had the I had the excuse of being able to store it away for the season therefore I'd hold on to things thinking oh I might fit into this one day I like it or um, oh I need to have a certain amount of clothes in my capsule Therefore, I like should keep this, even if I didn't love it. So the rules around capsules are good, but at the same time, they kind of influence me to not fully embrace like the Marie Kondo sort of concept of the KonMari concept of only filling a space with things that bring you joy. When I started the KonMari method, which starts with clothing, I actually still got rid of about 50% of my clothes. I really did a big cull. I got rid of things that were in bad repair, things that actually didn't fit me that I kind of was just like making fit me or would like store away. Um, and then things that I simply didn't like anymore. And there were some items that I'd bought, 
you know, during my capsules that I ended up getting rid of. They were just some things that didn't end up working out or perhaps I had double ups of things and I really didn't love an item as much as another item. Now getting on to why I call what I've got now a fluid capsule is that it is still a very like curated collection of clothes and um, things really do go well together and like it really does look kind of like a capsule, like a large capsule. But it's called a fluid capsule because instead of sort of statically changing out your wardrobe every three months you've got like separate capsules. I've just got this one capsule that is like eternal but it evolves organically over the year as you see things that you love like I buy a new t-shirt and um, before I buy it I have to think well this has to be a replacement for something in my wardrobe so I'll only buy it if I love it more than something in my wardrobe so then I'll buy it bring it home and I'll make sure that I discard an item from my collection. It doesn't have to be another t-shirt I might find that I have at one point I just have too many blouses and therefore I'd rather replace one of the blouses with a t-shirt that I'd wear more. I also struggled a little bit in my capsules um, dealing with Melbourne's weather. So Melbourne is very like fickle, like it's actually February and I am sitting in here in a light sweater. Like it's kind of, this is more something that I would traditionally have put in my autumn capsule, not a summer capsule, but because it's a little bit of a cooler day today, it's not necessarily gross, it's actually quite sunny, but it's just only like 19 degrees. Um, I, I feel the cold, so I pulled out a sweater to wear, um, and if this hadn't been in my capsule, I'd really struggle to find something that was more autumn-y as opposed to like summer. So that's what's up with my capsules. I hope you guys understand why I'm moving away from them, and it's not that I don't like the concept, it's just that I think this newer, more refined version of a capsule suits my lifestyle better and certainly goes more in line with the KonMari concept. However, you might also be wondering like what's going to happen to my fashion videos because I used to do a lot of videos on my capsule. I'd always do like a haul of new things that I picked up and then a video of like my capsule sort of styled but what I'm going to do now is that um, when I buy like a nice new piece and I'm going to try and invest in more quality as well over this year and um, when I get something that's a really nice piece um, I might do a video on like styling that one piece so the video would re revolve around that particular item for example let's say I go out and buy a really nice black blazer I can do like a blazer styling video where I show a few outfits using the same piece so that's kind of what where I think I'll take any of my fashion and styling videos um, for the year. So that's it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do want to watch a little bit more about capsule wardrobes, like if that's something that really interests you, I will have a playlist or a video up here about capsule wardrobes. And if you want to subscribe, you can also click the subscribe button that's going to be over there somewhere too. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then.